what should we in the media do, do you think, in terms of everything you've talked about? There are still massive issues and problems uh, uh, to do with interfaith uh, coexistence um, and, and, and tearing down sort of barriers. As a journalist, you know, what does the media need to do to sort of help in, in what, what, what you've been talking about today? So thank you for asking that. And I would say that the media, first of all, in many respects, the media is doing a good job. Okay. Um, the media is there to comment on what happened yesterday, but knowing that it has a responsibility that by doing so, it actually is influencing what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah. And therefore, um, all reporting by definition is subjective because people do have agendas. So what should the media's agenda be? It must surely be to make this into a better world. Um, and if there's going to be constructive criticism, it mustn't just be uh, in order to demonize for its own sake, but rather to highlight negative aspects of what has transpired in order to improve our society for the future. And if I would be specific, since you've asked the question, I would say, please, let's have some more good news. And you might say, oh, no, but that's not going to sell news. We'll say... Well, come on, spice it up. You can, you know, the, the captain said, said to me, come on, look what he did. Yeah. Look what some good people and their actions, look how they can inspire our society. And it's happening there. It's happening all over the place. It's worthy of being commented on. And that will, you know, if we're speaking, let's say specifically about interfaith, incredible stories. You know, I was speaking about Bradford and Muswell Hill and Idumani and Mitzvah Day. People need to know about this because that's the norm. It's not, you know, the odd occasion on which something terrible happens.